How's it going, people? But I got Lucky Buddha. Rub his little lucky belly. Pour it right out of his chubby little head. Ooh, pretty. Anyway, Lucky Buddha. I might keep this bottle, who knows. Or not. But, there's only a few drinks, so I think I open this guy. The beer's just for those slow points in between. Okay, I think we're about ready. Ah, kind of a dry chapter. All right, chapter chapter 54 of the Book of Alma. A Amaron asks for exchange of prisoners. Moroni grants requests upon conditions. The Lamanite King's angry reply. I'm playing some Beethoven, by the way. I got notified. Fisher Z's not cool either, apparently. I I, I don't know. Maybe somebody owns Beethoven too. <laughs> Just using it. First one, and now it came to pass. Mm. Brought a bottle of that up camping. It didn't last at night. Whatever, pretty good. In the 20 and 9th year of the judges, got an asterisk here, BC 63. That Amaron sent unto Moroni, desiring that he would exchange prisoners, too. And it came to pass. That Moroni felt to rejoice exceedingly at this request, for he desired the provisions which were imparted for the support of the Lamanite prisoners for the support of his own people, and he also desired his own people for the strengthening of his army. Three. Now, the Lamanites had taken many women and children, and they there was not a woman nor a child among all the prisoners of Moroni, because they're the good guys. They couldn't do something bad. <sighs> or the prisoners whom Moroni had taken, in case you needed a further clarification. Therefore, Moroni resolved upon a stratagem to obtain as many prisoners of the Lamanites, uh, Nephites, from the Lamanites as it were possible. Let's try some lucky Buddha. That's 
Not bad. That works. Four. Therefore, he wrote an epistle and sent it by the servant of Amaron, the same who had brought an epistle to Moroni. Now, these are the words which he wrote unto Ammon, saying, Five. Behold, Amaron, I have written unto you somewhat concerning this war which ye have waged against my people, for rather which thy brother, brother hath waged against them, which ye are still determined to carry on after his death. 6. Behold, I would tell you somewhat concerning the justice of God, and the sword of his almighty wrath, which doth hang over you, except ye repent and withdraw your armies unto your own lands, or the land of your possessions, which is the land of Nephi. Uh, seven. Yea, I would tell you these things if ye were capable of hearkening unto them. Yea, he writes that in epistles too. Huh? Uh, I would tell you concerning that awful hell that awaits to receive such murderers as thou and thy brother brother have been except ye repent and withdraw your murderous purposes and return with your armies to your own lands wow diplomatic as shit eight but as ye have rejected these things and have fought against the people of the lord Even so, I may expect you will do it again. Yeah. Nine. <clears throat> mm, lucky Buddha. And now, behold, we are prepared to receive you. Yay. And except you withdraw your purposes, behold, ye will pull down the wrath of that God whom you have rejected upon you, even to your utter destruction. Ten. But as the Lord liveth, our army shall come upon you, except ye withdraw, and ye shall soon be visited with death. For we will retain our cities and our lands, yea, and we will maintain our religion and the cause of our God. 11. But... Behold, it supposeth me that I talk to you concerning these things in vain. Or it supposeth me that thou art a child of hell. That's diplomatic. Therefore, I will close my epistle and piss on you <laughs> by telling you that I will not exchange prisoners, save it be on conditions that ye will deliver up a man and his wife and children, his children for one prisoner. <clears throat> if this be the case, that ye will do it, I will exchange. 
12. And behold, if you do not this, I will come against you with my armies, yea, even I will arm my women and my children, and I will come against you, and I will follow you even into your own land, which is the land of our first inheritance. Yea, life for life, I will give you battle, even until you are destroyed from off the face of the earth. 13. Behold, I am in my anger, and also my people. Ye have sought to murder us, and we have only sought to defend ourselves. But behold, if ye seek to destroy us more, we will seek to destroy you, yea, and we will seek our land and the land of our first inheritance. 14. Now I close my epistle. <laughs> I am Moroni. I am a leader of the people of the Nephites. Wow, that was a real letter, an epistle. Fifteen. Ah, smooth as silk. Now it came to pass that Amaron, when he received this epistle, was angry, and he wrote another epistle under Moroni, a pissed off epistle, <laughs> and these are the words which he wrote, saying, hang on. the sip of the old Buddha. Feel unlucky. 16. I am Amaron, the king of the Lamanites. I am the brother of Amalekiha, whom ye have murdered. Good point. Behold, I will avenge his blood upon you. Yay. They sound alike. And I will come upon you with my armies, for I fear not your threatenings. 17. For behold, your fathers did wrong their brethren, insomuch that they did rob them of their right to the government when it rightly belonged unto them. 18. And now, behold, if ye will lay down your arms and subject yourselves to be governed by those to whom the government doth rightly belong, then will I cause that my people shall lay down their weapons and shall be at war no more. 19. Behold. Uh. Ye have breathed out many threatenings against me, and my people. But behold, we fear not your threatenings. 20. Nevertheless, 
I will grant to exchange prisoner, prisoners according to your request, gladly that I may preserve my food for my men of war, and we will wage a war which shall be eternal, either to the subjecting the Nephites to our authority or to their eternal extinction. Eternal extinction. <laughs> yeah. One word too many. 21. And as concerning the God, that God, who ye say we have rejected, who ye say We know not such a being, neither do ye. But if it so be that there is such a thing, we know not, but that he hath made us as well as you. Why, too? And if it so be that there is a devil and a hell, behold, he will not send you there to dwell. Wait, behold, will he not send you there to dwell with my brother, whom ye have murdered, whom ye have hinted, that he hath gone to such a place? But behold, these things matter not. 23. I am Amaron and a descendant of Zoram, whom your fathers pressed and brought out of Jerusalem. 24. And behold now, I am a bold Lamanite. Behold, this war hath been waged to avenge their wrongs, and to maintain, and to obtain their rights to the government. And I close my epistle to Moroni. Chew on that, Moroni. And that's it for 54. This exchange of epistles goes on another chapter, and then things get a little bit nasty. And a little intrigue. So, something to look forward to. So, hope you learned something. Let me know what it is. Peace. Fuck out. Or wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. Hope to see you in uh, chapter 55. And beyond.